Why is my head so full? Well, it's because of all the things you read, the funny cat you see on your feet, advertisements on the street, the chat lady asking if there's anything you need, the message from your friend that wants to meet, multitask and watch TV while you eat, notification of a new tweet, something on the news about corporate greed, or that song with a sick beat. <laughs> In this techno world, data is what we eat. We progress a zillion things on high speed. Our brain takes care of all this mess. It can make you feel happy, sick or even depressed. It's powerful and controls the way how we feel, but we don't put a lot of effort in keeping it real fit. I mean, we train our body, work out, get a massage and drink a carrot juice organic grown, but our mind is left on its own. It's time to be kind and train the mind. Hello, so I'm currently in Thailand, in uh, Chiang Mai, a city in the north, and I'm on my way to a Buddhist temple where we're gonna spend 10 days living with the monks to train the mind. I think we're pretty close, it sounds like we're pretty close. Should be here. It is very peaceful here, with a lot of beautiful temples. The amount of work they put in these things is amazing. Check out these old beautiful wood carves. And obviously a lot of monks. Interesting to see what they do in daily life. Here they all practice the Vipassana meditation. It's where you learn to control your mind. It's like a camp where they improve your concentration. It's like a, like a big concentration camp. Hmm, no, that sounds a bit off. Mm, let's call it a meditation camp. I'll be staying here for the coming 10 days to make my mind stronger. That's my room. My room for the coming days. It looks... Comfortable. But... In order to hang out with the monks, you need a few things. A couple of these smelly sticks, 11 white flowers, some orange yellow candles, and you need to wear white clothing. It makes me look like a Backstreet Boy. Besides getting these things, they also have a few rules. Don't read, so not even books about Buddhism or meditation. You don't write either, so don't write down your thoughts. You don't talk. Now, they actually wrote this in here like it's pretty simple, but not talking. I don't think I ever done that for 10 days. Oh, and finally, you can't listen to music, no internet, Wi Fi, phones, or cameras. So I'm gonna leave you here and see you back in 10 days. So I just <coughs> oh, feels good to talk again. So I just finished, and that has to be one of the most boring things I've done in my entire life. Let me get some paper to explain why. So first off, the haircut. No need to do this, but they say it's easier for your thoughts to leave the mind. I figured, let's try it out. So let me explain the daily routine first. So this is one day here, and they're pretty much all the same. It starts at 4 a.m. and you go meditating right out of bed. 6.30, breakfast, usually a noodle soup. You go back meditating, then you have lunch. This is also the last meal of the day. In the afternoon, you clean yourself, the room, and you pick up some leaves from the ground. Because a clean environment helps to get a clean mind. Then you do some more meditation, and at 5, there is a cup of juiced soup. And all this time in between, you do meditation. At 10 o'clock, you go to bed and sleep for about 6 hours. So as you can see, there isn't much to do in one day, except a lot of meditation. This is quite boring, because meditation itself is not 
necessarily exciting. The time goes by super slow and you're just sitting there in the room. However, here is what's nice about it. Let's say at this line you're chill. And this line means chaos. Usually there are a lot of things on your mind in a day, a monkey mind. And then you go into meditation where there is nothing going on, really nothing, it's super boring. But slowly you notice your brain starts to mellow down. And at this point there are still some old thoughts going through your mind, but you learn to control these. And since there's no new input at all, you start to become more chill. And this really feels like your brain is one big chaos of thoughts, which are slowly cleaned up and going away. Which gives you a much cleaner mind. And this is when I realized how long it's been that I had an empty mind. There's always something to worry, think or wonder about. But that feeling of having an empty mind and living in the present is pretty nice. It's like being a kid again and you finish your homework and nothing else on your mind. Now back to the real world. 113 mails, 341 social notifications, 24 messages and 10 snaps. Oh, you bittersweet internet. <laughs>